Hello guys, welcome to Coding Byte. Are you tired of using Android and want to break free from a closed and proprietary ecosystem? With the growing concerns over security and privacy, many smartphone users are seeking alternatives. So, is it possible to ditch Android or iOS for a different mobile operating system? Fortunately, Linux often comes to the rescue as a viable option for an alternative operating system. But which Linux-based mobile operating systems are currently available for installation? If you're looking to replace Android with Linux, here are some noteworthy Linux mobile distributions you should consider trying out. Ubuntu Touch Initially developed by Canonical, the well-known Linux mobile operating system, Ubuntu Touch, is now maintained by UB Ports. Ubuntu Touch takes an intelligent approach to smartphones by addressing the app shortage issue through the inclusion of native social, news, and photo tools. This is accomplished through scopes, which are customizable pages on the home screen that provide access to personalized news, weather, apps, and social networks. The system works efficiently, although there may be occasions where additional apps are required. One of Ubuntu Touch's standout features is Convergence. Similar to Samsung DeX, Convergence allows the mobile device to connect wirelessly to an HDMI device, keyboard, and mouse, effectively transforming it into a desktop computer. The only notable distinction is that the phone utilizes an ARM processor. Currently, Ubuntu Touch supports devices such as Warphone, Fairphone 2, OnePlus One, and the BQ Aquarius tablet. Additionally, many other phones can run Ubuntu Touch. PMOS, Post Market OS, is a Linux distribution specifically designed for phones, positioning itself as a genuine mobile OS. It is based on Alpine Linux. With a focus on long-term support, PMOS has undergone years of development and is currently in its beta stage. The aim is to establish a sustainable mobile OS that can be relied upon for an extended period. Supported devices for PMOS include the Samsung Galaxy A3 2015, A5 2015, and Galaxy S4 Mini Value Edition. Furthermore, a wide range of devices, such as Amazon Fi HD tablets and Google Nexus devices, are capable of running post-market OS. One notable aspect of the PMOS project is its provision of multiple desktop environments. This diverse range ensures that the project is well positioned to achieve its objective of establishing a sustainable Linux mobile operating system in the long run. Sailfish OS is a mobile operating system that emerged from the collaboration between Jolla, Mare, a middleware stack developer, the Sailfish Alliance, a consortium of corporations, and community members. It is a continuation of the abandoned Mego OS, which itself was based on MIMO and Moblin. The latest iteration of Sailfish OS is called Sailfish X, optimized for Sony Xperia X devices. However, it's worth noting that Sailfish OS is not open source, and the free version is limited to a trial period. While Sailfish OS can be installed on various Linux-compatible phones, the primary focus of development is on Sony Xperia X, Sony Xperia 10, and Gemini PDA devices. For the full version of Sailfish X, there is cost of approximately $50, and it is exclusively available within the European Union, Norway, and Switzerland. The official website clearly states that purchasing Sailfish X outside of these authorized countries is prohibited. One notable feature of Sailfish OS is its support for Android apps, offering compatibility with a vast array of Android applications. Additionally, Sailfish OS provides Microsoft Exchange support, making it an attractive option for users seeking these features. Mobian is a Linux phone operating system that can be best described as Debian for mobile. It has been under development since 2020 and is designed for both phones and tablets. Additionally, there is a version available for x86-based devices, including standard PCs, laptops, hybrids, and Windows tablets. With its solid performance and Debian foundation, Mobian offers a reliable Linux OS experience for mobile phones. However, if you do not have a compatible device to install Mobian, it is recommended to explore alternative options. Pure OS, developed by Purism, is a Linux phone operating system that prioritizes security and privacy. It serves as the default OS for Purism's Librem 5 phone. The combination of Pure OS with the Librem 5's hardware features, such as kill switches for camera, microphone, and connectivity, contributes to a highly secure and private mobile platform. Currently, 
Pure OS is primarily supported on the Librem 5 and has limited compatibility with other devices. However, it is worth noting that Pure OS can also be installed on the Pine phone, making it another option for users seeking a Linux mobile OS. Plasma Mobile If you're looking to customize the appearance of your Linux phone distro, consider giving Plasma Mobile a try. Designed specifically for smartphones, Plasma Mobile is a variation of the popular Plasma desktop environment, which is widely regarded as one of the best Linux desktop environments. While Plasma Mobile itself is not a standalone mobile operating system, it functions as a user interface layer for phone-optimized Linux distributions. Underneath Plasma Mobile, you can find distributions like Manjaro ARM, OpenSUSE, Arch Linux ARM, and there's also a version of Fedora in development that is intended to work with Plasma Mobile. Additionally, you have the option to run Plasma Mobile on post-market OS instead of the default environment. Plasma Mobile provides support for desktop Plasma apps and widgets, as well as Ubuntu Touch apps. It is compatible with devices such as the Pine phone and any devices supported by post-market OS. With Plasma Mobile, you can personalize and enhance the user interface of your Linux phone while enjoying the benefits of a versatile and feature-rich environment. While discussing Linux phone distro, it's worth noting that some of these distro are also compatible with tablets. While most tablets are Android-based, it is possible to install Linux on certain tablets, including Windows tablets, using Plasma Mobile. Compatibility varies among different Linux mobile OSes, so it's important to check the specific distro for tablet support. Although replacing Android OS with Linux on most Android tablets is not possible, it's still worth exploring the options and investigating further. However, it's important to highlight that installing Linux on an iPad is not feasible. Apple tightly controls its operating system and hardware, preventing any installation of Linux, or even Android, on iPads. Apple devices do not provide an avenue for alternative operating systems like Linux. Thank you for watching. If you found this video informative, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to our channel for more Linux-related content. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below.